Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you 10 modifications and upgrades I made to my RV, and then I will tell you about six future projects I'm either going to do or I'm trying to figure out how to do them. The first thing I want to tell you is that I am not a perfectionist. So the things that I do, they usually don't turn out perfect, but you could take these ideas and you could make it better. You can do it yourself and you can make them better. The first thing that I did was installed USB ports. They actually come with one outlet that has two USB ports and one cigarette lighter. So then I bought these light bars or light strips for the outside. They work with a cigarette lighter and you attach them with double-sided tape. And I have done this in April and this is now July and it has held up extremely well. And I just love it. It has so many different color options. You have a remote control that you can change the colors. You can dim it. You can make it stronger. You can just pretty much play around with whatever mood you want to create or if you want more or less light. I originally didn't have any lights on the outside, so I needed something anyways, but might as well get this and this way you can just kind of play around with it. And also another thing is that I have not noticed that it used up too much battery power at all. So this was a really, really neat thing to get. I got some more installed on the inside. I put in a second light um, just so that I can have a different mood. And then I installed a couple of more. So in total, I have three on the inside and one on the outside. One obvious benefit was the ability to charge my phone inside or outside. This has always been a problem before. You can, of course, charge other devices, but you can find all kinds of things that use a cigarette lighter or a USB port. For example, this freezer or refrigerator, depending on how you set the temperature. I used it as a freezer to keep things frozen or to make ice and it worked extremely well. I also bought a vacuum cleaner. This uses a USB port. I have a dog and a lot of dog hair. So this was just something convenient, wasn't anything expensive. Besides this, you could buy fans that use uh, USB ports. I bought a blender. I also bought an air freshener just because it was also inexpensive. And none of these used a lot of power. So I would definitely recommend doing this. So the second thing is a door stopper. Um, most RVs come with that. Mine didn't, so I bought it. And what I actually did was I didn't install it on the bottom. I installed it in the middle. So with these pop-up trailers, your door actually comes in two pieces because it has to fold down, right? So the second part, um, you have to latch it once everything is up. So what I did was I actually installed the door stopper so the top part gets to stay open because I have my dog with me, so I often want to close the bottom door so she doesn't run out, but I want to have air coming in. I don't want to be sitting in here with completely closed in so I can have the top part of the door stay open. Um, if I actually want the whole thing to stay open, I'll latch it together and then it will keep the whole door open. So this is a win-win situation and it worked really well. And this actually leads me to my next upgrade, which was installing a bug screen. So it was actually pretty simple. I bought the, the screen itself um, and I just used a stapler. I cut it to size and then I basically folded it in a little bit, um, stapled it along the way. And then I added the Velcro to match it so that they stick together. I used staples to, to keep the Velcro because otherwise, eventually, it will probably come off even though it's pretty sticky. It doesn't look very pretty. So when you do this, maybe you want to sew it. Um, when I get home, because I just did it now on this trip. When I get home, I will probably run it with the sewing machine and take out the staples and it will just look better. And I only installed this on the top part of the door. I don't need the whole entire door like that. So having the top door open and the bottom closed, and then I have that screen up, it's just the perfect uh, solution. It's a little bit kind of bothersome, but I wanna go outside, I have to just, you know, hold it up and go out and come back. But that little inconvenience is actually 
worth it for me and in the evening or if i don't want to bother with it i can just roll it up and use these velcro pieces to keep it up on the top this a-frame camper actually has a lot of storage but i'm always looking for more because i often go for longer trips so this comes with a microwave every rv i have ever owned had a microwave in it and i don't need one so for me that was just taking up space so i got the microwave taken out almost everything you see here was made out of leftover things from my garage so i cut this piece of wood to size and spray painted it i bought the hinges and i had a hard time putting it on as you could see it's not very pretty i even had to add some wood underneath and the closure i decided to use velcro it actually works very well because nothing is going to fall out from the shelf and the velcro was simple easy and it works um this wood i had to cut to size and i had a hard time making it in so i had to keep cutting the corners and the sides and i had to cut some holes for these wires but once it was in it was great i also had these brackets and they just had to be lined up on the inside and then once this shelf went on top it was going to be strong enough to hold these containers and i got lucky i had these plastic containers that just barely fit in but once they're in they're not going to fall out and that is why the velcro is enough but i can turn them to the side and take them out the top one has clothes which is lightweight and then the bottom has food which gets a lot heavier but that's okay and i have a lot of room on the side and in the front so this was actually a very inexpensive project that gives me a lot of storage the other thing i did was um under my sink i have one big storage area but it's it's tall enough to fit all kinds of things in but i can't really take advantage of all the space the only thing it really needed was so that my utensil tray can fit just just enough to fit and come out and then underneath i can put plates and cups and frying pans and all my cooking stuff can fit in there so this is really neat up until then it was kind of a mess so number five was installing a solar panel it wasn't even expensive the installation wasn't much um a long time ago when i got my first trailer someone told me that solar would have been like fifteen hundred dollars it's so not worth it so i never thought about it but on facebook i'm a member of this pop-up um, trailer group and those people are so smart and so practical and so nice and i've seen all these posts talking about it so i asked about it and i was like okay let's do it and it works really well and this actually goes on top of the little storage area up front it fits perfectly and if i'm facing south in the summer at least it keeps my batteries charged i don't use a lot of lights or a lot of other things but i do use my refrigerator non-stop and in these kind of trailers you use propane and some electricity and i was told it uses a lot of electricity but it actually kept my batteries charged i mean for a week but with the fridge going so this solar panel was was really good even though i just wanted to have it as a backup it works really well i want to make sure i have clothes to wear that are not wrinkled i know it's silly because i'm camping and hiking but if i'm going on a trip for two three weeks you know i don't want to have all these weird clothes to put on <laughs> I don't, this is just how I am. So I got these hangers that will hold my clothes on hangers. They attach to the ceiling with these adhesives. They're very strong. They can hold up to three pounds and they actually can come off, which I need to do before I put up the shower curtain and then I can just clip them back on and they are ready to go. And it's also out of sight. I, I could have put it like right here behind me, but but it would have just looked really weird. The next idea was very simple. Just changed out a couple of lights to dimmable lights. This way you can create a different mood and also you can conserve energy. Hoses for the water system. So when you have a pop-up trailer, um, your water is actually going outside and you really don't want to do that. 
in some places it's even illegal for example in utah you have to use a self-contained system for black water or gray water you can just have the water going anywhere so i already had these attachments but then i cut off water hoses and i added it to them and then i bought this big tub for gray water i only use it for gray water and then i just put it right underneath i only bought one so when i take a shower i need to put it under the shower i made an attachment for that as well and then i just put it back for the sink this one is kind of obvious. I'm sure a lot of people are doing this already. I basically glued a level on the side and I glued one up front. So when I set up my trailer, I don't need to look for my level. These are just a few things that I have done. Um, for example, putting up hooks, that's, that's simple. You can put up hooks for your keys, for your clothes. So that's kind of a given for everyone. Nowadays, you could buy all kinds of hooks that can take three, five pounds. So that's pretty neat. Um, I had to exchange some of the latches on the outside because they would just basically close and that's it. But I like to put something on it to make sure they stay closed because with these trailers that are, that fold down and pop up, if you don't latch them down right, they will pop up while you're driving. That has happened to me with the front area once. Luckily, I caught it right away. This way, if you add these little rings to them, then you can make sure that they stay closed. Another thing is um, Velcro. So I have used Velcro for my bug screen, but you can also use Velcro on your remote controls. So there's a remote for my outside light and I have it by the front door and I have the one for the inside. I have it by my bed. So this way, if I lay this way, my head is on over here. I have the remote here. I have a Velcro piece right there. And if I sleep this way, which I did last night, then I have it right Another here. thing that was really important is um a little gadget you can install on your battery that shows you how charged it is so in my previous travel trailers you could actually look at your battery how charged it was but in pop-up trailers at least the older ones you can't your battery is right there and you have no idea if it's full or it's about to die it's really simple it goes on top of the box it gets connected to your battery it was very cheap. I think it was like $10 or something like that on Amazon. And it shows you how much is charged. And I would say it is very, very accurate. First thing is the bathroom walls. I just want to say <laughs> that I have had quite a few travel trailers. And it's I, I've noticed that some of them are designed with people who are obviously campers. And some of them are designed by people who don't camp i mean they have an idea and in theory it works but in practice it's horrible this a-frame camper i would say this is pretty good they have made a lot of things very practical uh, it's just very efficient it's amazing everything except for the bathroom so it comes with these walls and a door and that was important to me i wanted walls i just wanted to have that feeling that you're sitting in a bathroom, like in an actual bathroom. But they're so heavy. There's no reason to make them so sturdy or so heavy. You're really not leaning up against them. Um, they're just really there to shield in view and just give you a sense of privacy. So they kind of fell apart. That's all I'm trying to say here. So I already had installed all these hooks in the ceiling and in the wall and I use these strings to tie them up so that they stay up because I didn't trust them. The door had a frame that made it super heavy and it had a lock. I don't know why it would lock a door in this makeshift bathroom in this trailer. So the whole thing was heavy and even when put together, it was very wobbly. It was just really didn't make too much sense. And then these latches, this was the original latch and it had a different place originally. And that's the second latch I had to add. And eventually it just sort of fell apart. So I took off that piece of the wall because it was not really secure anyways. This piece attached to a wall that was next to the wall, like right there. And it was not even needed because nothing got wet when I took a shower. And that was the first thing really to fall apart. And then the final piece was 
um, this main part of this corner where you have these strong, secure brackets, they basically broke on my last trip in transit while it was folded down. So the whole thing, piece by piece, fell apart. And I was already thinking to replace it with something lighter, maybe with plastic or maybe with wood. But it definitely doesn't need to be this thick and this heavy. The shower curtain actually makes everything so much smaller. So that one will definitely need to go. It doesn't need to be velcroed down like this. So that one will probably be an easy fix. Next project is the kitchen area. I need to find either removable or foldable lightweight shelves or some kind of a shelving system, either hanging from the ceiling or attached to the wall so that I can put some of the food and cooking things on them so this area can stay clean. Next project is the easiest one, and that is to install blackout curtains. It will serve three purposes. One, if you want to sleep in and the sun is up, your trailer will stay dark. Two, by keeping your trailer dark, you can keep out the heat in the summer, and that will make a huge difference. And three, in the evening, when you're inside the trailer, even if these curtains are on, people can still see in. So if you're changing your clothes and you're a girl, I mean, they could see your body shape and everything. And we don't want that. So this would actually be very easy. I just need to buy the fabric and cut it to the same size as these curtains are and then just attach it on the top. And that way I can use both of them with the black hat curtain on top or i can just use the lighter one and roll up the black hat curtain another thing i was just toying with i'm not sure if i'm gonna do that i kind of want to add a long box along the wall right here on the bed um, I could just put other things in there just to have everything out of the way. I, I would just want, want it to be, it could be wood or plastic. It has to be lightweight. I'm not trying to add more weight to this trailer and something that could just open up on the top and have it easily accessible. Um, and it has to be removable right now. It's just me. So I have this whole bed to myself, but God knows one day I get a boyfriend and it's going to be <laughs> the two of us then it would just take up too much space so that would have to go number five i have this um little closet that actually can hang now it's it's nice a lot of things can fit in there but if i'm sleeping on that side then it's in the way and it has to come off and i was just thinking i could just add something to the side walls um to keep it up so it would kind of be like a dresser i could even lay it down that could sort of replace that box i'm talking about so that's something i am working on and finally this would be important i don't know how to do it yet i have researched it but i need an awning there's absolutely no shade i don't know how to do it because it's a it's an a-frame i don't want it to i like the way it looks i don't want it to ruin that that look um i don't know I've, I've seen a lot of different things i have been researching this for a long time so if you have any ideas about that just let me know all right so this is it 10 upgrades modifications and six ideas so please let me know if you have any ideas that you have done or you are working on and i have not included and you think i could use it also most definitely Leave me a comment if you have a solution to some of the ideas I described because um, I want to make them happen as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.